A Lackawanna County man faces federal charges in connection with the January 6th riots at the nation's capital. Eyewitness News first reported word of those charges against Frank Scavo from Old Forge last night. Today, Scavo turned himself into the FBI. WBRE WIOU I team reporter Andy Mahalschik live for us tonight in Scranton with the latest on that story. Andy. Good evening, Nick and Kansas. Well, Frank Scavo of Old Forge denies he played any role, any part in the actual riot itself. Today, he and his lawyer argued that he was pushed back into the Capitol building by the angry mob. Frank Scavo arrives at the federal courthouse in Scranton Thursday morning. He is the man with the glasses and beard wearing a dark jacket. His attorney, Ernie Priate, is walking alongside of him. Scavo is here to face four federal misdemeanor charges in connection with the riot at the Capitol back on January 6th. Scavo had led a group of several hundred supporters of then-President Donald Trump to the Capitol that day to protest the certification of the 2020 election, when suddenly violence erupted. The day after the riot, Scavo told Eyewitness News reporter Mark Killer that he was never inside the Capitol building and watched the violence unfold from across the street from the Capitol. And we could see people up uh, along the railing, which obviously means, hey, how did these guys get in there? And then we start to see the tear gas and another series of, of, of flashbangs. But in the days after the riot, photos began to surface on the national and social media that appeared to show Scavo inside the Capitol building, taking photos or video of the event. And Mr. Priet, he had, uh, I know Mr. Scavo told one of our reporters that he wasn't in the Capitol. Uh, day after the, the riot, he, and you know, I wish, in there, so. I, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish Frank would have talked to me before he gets involved in talking to you guys. You know, I mean, you, we, we went to talk to the FBI. We we we, we laid it out very clearly. Priate insists that Scavo was pushed into the building. Uh, but he was in the the building approximately uh, eight minutes. Uh, he went in with the the, the mob. His first opportunity to get out of the mob, he did. Broke off to the right, uh, went down corridors trying to get out. He was in there for eight minutes, as I said. He even encountered two police officers and asked them directions on how to get out. It's a great day to be an American in these United States of America. We still subscribe to the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States. Scavo walked out of the federal courthouse today a free man as his case makes its way through the justice system. We'll be giving you guys some more comments as the, uh, as the days progress, but right now, my attorney, Mr. Ernie Preet, has asked that I make no further comments. But I tried asking him about why he apparently lied about being inside the Capitol. You told our reporter that you were going to, you weren't near the Capitol, or not inside the Capitol, oh, and then I was, I the was day later, uh, it's, the, it, the pictures came out. And as the things progress, we'll, we'll come up with it. Thank you. Now, we're still not sure who the woman was yelling at Frank Scavo to shut up as he was trying to answer my question. Now, Scavo, uh, interesting sight this afternoon. He was brought into the courtroom after being processed by the FBI downstairs in the courtroom on number one on the fourth floor in handcuffs and shackles into the courtroom. He was then released on bail on his own recognizance. The judge determined he was no threat to society. Now, he faces up to three years in prison, tens of thousands of dollars in fines. if convicted on these four federal misdemeanor charges. You can see those charges and other federal paperwork in this case documentation on PAHomepage.com. Now, Scavo will have a Zoom hearing this Wednesday with a judge in the District of Columbia. Now, federal prosecutors had no comment on this investigation. Reporting live for the I-Team at Federal Court in downtown Scranton, Andy Mahalschik, 2822 Eyewitness News.